Like we can drill some air and I'll look at some shapes. So if you have your math page out for today, it's got the 9.5 at the top. If you don't have it out now, you can just watch this for directions and then you can get it out when we're finished. At the top it says triangle, not triangle. So I've got some of our shapes here that we use when we are at school together. And I'm going to put them on my paper and on your paper. You can use a pencil and you can draw some shapes. So we want triangles over here. Is this a triangle? Yes, it has one, two, three sides and three vertices. That's where the lines meet or intersect and make a corner. So that's a triangle. This is not a triangle. We know that it's a circle. This is not a triangle. What is this? Yes, it is a square. One, two, three, four sides. They are all exactly the same length. Here is a triangle. One, two, three sides. One, two, three vertices. What about this one? This is called a hexagon. It has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. That is a hexagon. There's another circle. Oh, here's another triangle. Three sides and three vertices or three corners. There's another square, so it is not a triangle. Here's another triangle. Even if it is faced this way, with one, two, three sides, one, two, three vertices, it is still a triangle. Doesn't matter which way we turn it, it is still a triangle. What about this? That is our rectangle. It has four sides. Two of them are short, two of them are long. I can turn it this way or this way. It is still a rectangle. So these are triangles. These are not triangles. All right, so you can draw some of those on your paper. Then you're going to turn your page and fold it back. Your directions are put an X on all the triangles. Let me move my paper for you. There we go. Put an X on all your triangles. There's one. One, two, three sides. One, two, three vertices. Oh, here's another one. Remember, it doesn't matter which way they turn it. There's one. What about this? No. One, two, three, four sides. They just turned it to try to trick you. There's a triangle. One, two, three sides. And there's a triangle. All right, did we find them all? I found one, two, three, four, five triangles. This one is a rectangle, square, circle, hexagon, circle. That's a square that has turned it around. Square, rectangle, hexagon. You should have done five triangles. Then your next page, when you finish that one and turn it over, you're going to color all the triangles in the picture. And there are a lot of them, so take your time and color them. Any triangles you find. They're all different sizes too. There's some little ones and some bigger ones. that only color the triangles. <laughs> oh, here's a couple. Three sides, three vertices. So this one is a triangle, and this one is a triangle. 
Oh, here's some up at the top, the little ones. Don't forget them. Color all the triangles. All right, let's see how many I found. I found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So make sure you find 11 when you work on yours. Then on the back, by the red apple, which shapes are triangles, put an X on them. I see one, two. Then at the bottom, draw to show what you know about triangles. So you can draw triangles, just make sure they have three sides and three vertices. You can make them tall, you can make them small, as long as it has three sides and three vertices. It does not matter which way you turn it. You can draw some triangles on your paper. All right, boys and girls, if you were not working along with me, then it's time for you to do your math now.